so good afternoon everyone to the student who just joined in uh, the classes guys here provided by the ceca and there yeah, are different slots of the classes going on for the pte for the nati ccl hindi punjabi urdu and nepalese if you are after any classes you can just get to uh, facebook page of the ceca and get the links there time mentioned there and you can just assess the same uh, facility with those links through the zoom sessions webinar is also coming up so you can check out the webinars a uh, time uh, if anybody after any a uh, piece of the information i state here so you can check and check the date for the seminar and log in by using the zoom and uh, guys can you please keep the mic on mute yeah thank you okay let's start with the reading it's 2:15 almost so this is the passage in front of you it's about neuroscientist that reveals how to think differently we got mcq first five questions from mcqs uh anu anu can you hear me talk to me or uh, you need to keep your mic mute till the time you don't have a question it's okay if you want to ask anything then you can certainly unmute you and ask the question right and i guess i am just able to hear the background noises from you uh, but i'm not able to hear you if you want to ask something okay so okay if anybody wants to ask something now raise the hand i just did change the setting for a while yeah for the mic okay so let's start with these two these two question first neuro economics is a field of study which seeks to the four option are state here same goes to the second question when you done with these two i'll keep moving the question up so start doing this first set of two question from the passage right in front of you and if you have any question kindly raise the hand that's how you able to tell me that you want to ask something got answer for the one, from one student for the question number 1 and 2 waiting for other participants to send their answer in the chat box 
and kindly send your answers to me only let me change the setting as well okay Okay, so the Shreetal and Zarish, the answers are right. Anu, it is for the question number one. If it is, it is wrong. Shan, that's right. For question number one and two. Aman, Jot, and Harsh, and Anu, kindly send your answers soon. Mm, Jot, yes, that's right for the question number one and two. The participant joining in right now, we are doing the reading. This is the starting of the reading. So you can start with first two question on the screen, number one, numbered as one and two, and send your answer in the chat box. This is MCQ, one answer is right out of the given option. Okay, so the answers for the question number one, neuroeconomics is field of study which seeks to understand how the brain is linked to achievement in competitive field. That is C, the answer to this question number one is C. And as for, for student here, send the right answer. And the second one, according to the writer, iconoclasts are distinctive because their brains, brains function differently so this is b for the second question the option stands b which is right for the question number one the option uh, c it is the right one and uh, let's move to the question number third and four just a sec let me show you the other questions so here are they just a sec So these are the question number three, three, four, and five. According to the writer, the brain works efficiently because, and if the option, you know, number five goes D option, it goes to the second page. No, it's not. So it's good now. So according to the writer, the brain works efficiently because why the brain work efficiently? 
So you tell the question all five and I'll tell you the location of the answers. Start with the reading, guys, who are joining in right now. Start with it. This is the MCQ, question number third to fifth we are doing. Hello, Roop. I'm fine. How are you? Start with the MCQs and send your answer for question number three, four, and five. Zarish, the answer is right for the third one. And Anu, answer for fourth is right. Try to find them quick. After you are done, I'll be showing you the answers to the question number you did, where you get them from.
Okay, so Zarish fourth number answer is right. Anu, the answer to question number fifth is right. And Shan, third is right. Fourth and fifth is right. Mm, Zarish, yes, fifth is right. Jyot, uh, third is wrong. And uh, fourth is wrong fifth is wrong these are not right so i received answer from zarish jyot anu uh, and then and shan so kindly the students who are doing the questions here quick be quick with your sending i um, mean send your answers quickly Badresh, Harsh, Aman, Munib, and Sheetal. Sheetal is there. Yeah. So quickly send your answer. Uh, the students, I just name them. Okay, Badresh. Fine. Yeah. Cool. And she told the answers to the question. These are right. Great. That's good. That's good. Okay. So anybody sending the answer right now? Or should I say the answers? Because I mean, four or five students, they have sent the answers already. Okay, so the answers here, all right, I know the third one. No, this is not right, third. All right, so here is the answers. Okay, so I have highlighted the phrases or the sentences where you are getting your answers. So let's see how we can look into the paraphrasing when the, we are having MCQs. So the third number question where it says, according to Wrighton, the brain work more efficiently because the reason they are asking here why the work brain work more efficiently. So it uses the eyes quickly. It interprets data logically. It generates its own energy. It relies on previous events, right? So we have to come here, right? So this is about the same. For example, when confronted with information streaming from the eyes, the brain will interpret this information in the quick, uh, quickest way possible. This is called efficiently, right? Thus, it will draw on both past experience and any other source of information, right? So it works efficiently because it relies on previous events. So past experience, previous events, quicker, quickest way possible, that means the efficient way possible, right? So this is how, even if you are not understanding exactly what's happening out there in the reading and with any question, so what you can do, look for the words in the question, paraphrasing, and then option, look for if they are uh, having, any option is having the paraphrases in, it, in the other words. So you see there are other words they have used. They say that the result is they draw information both from past experience and other source of information and realize it's, it sounds same and previous events, it's like past experience, right? So now moving to the next question, the writers say that perception is. So what is perception is? The last sentence you can see highlighted here. More than physical reality of photo or sound waves, perception is a product of the brain, right? So here, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the question number four. And here the answer stands like the, what is the per, uh, perception? The writer says, what about, what he, about, uh, what he say about perception? That it's a product of brain. So C option stands here as a result of brain processes product of brain and processes of brain and result of that thing. So one and the same thing. So process happen and we, we get the result, we get the product, right? C option. Then according to the writer, an iconoclastic thinker. 
right? What is the option here? Here, iconoclasts see things differently to other people. Their brains do not fall into efficiency pitfalls, right? So they don't fall into these pitfalls, right? So here, they're like, um, uh, yeah, it says avoids cognitive traps. That mean they don't fall into traps, cognitive traps. That mean any uh, pitfalls and traps, one and the same for do not fall that they avoids any cognitive trap. So this is the option where you can, I mean, this is the phrase from where you get your answer for the question number five, B. So it is uh, the D, it is the C, it is the B. All right, let's do the next questions here. Six to whatever number it is, six to 11. So these are the question where we have to tell the statement, yes, in uh, like according to yes, no, and uh, uh, it says not given here on the screen. So let's me remove the instructions because that's how we can borrow space here. Just a sec. Right. I'm gonna need this up here right now. Yes, no, not given. So remember that it's yes, no, not given. So do not write like um, true, false, not given. So if you're doing that, you will not be getting marks. So your answer need to be yes, no, not given, you know. So just go into these statements. First you tell me the answers, then I'll be telling you if they are right or wrong and where you can look for the paraphrasing and how you can find the answer with the help of paraphrasing. Yeah. So you can see the questions on the screen right now, six to 11. Yes, no, not given, remember that. Yes, no, slash, not given. Now start doing it.
received answer from one. Let's see. Let, I mean, let receive. Let me receive from other participants as well. Okay, so it's with only Zarish. Now, Anu, kindly be quick with your answer, guys. Be quick. You're taking long, and let me tell you the answers, Zarish. Sixth and seventh is right. Eighth and ninth is right. And 10 and 11 is pending. And Anu, 11 is right. Sixth is wrong. And fifth is uh, fifth. Okay, sixth. So for sixth, you have given three answers. The last one is right for six. And Zarishia yeah, tenth is right. <laughs> and check the spelling for mistake as well. <laughs> and uh, Shan, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten is right. And uh, Sheetal, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is right. 11 is wrong. <sighs> 11 is right, Zarish. And uh, Sean, 11 is right.
I'll be looking your answer. Uh, I'm just saying it in a while. Till the time, yeah, many of you can tell me the answers. I'm just looking that so that I can tell you where the answers are. Looking, yeah, keep looking your answer. Yeah, at this meanwhile, I'm also finding to so that you may try to understand it better. Right, let me check the answers. So, group um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They are right. And uh, Anu, seven is wrong. Sheetal, eleven is right now. Jod, six is wrong. Seven is right. And uh, eight. And, 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 yeah, eight is only right after that. And I know nine is wrong. Tenth, eighth is wrong. Tenth is right. You see, you're asking me with, for the eighth question, I believe. No, these couldn't be. I'll we'll discuss it later. All right, I think we are done here. This is sufficient time given to you guys. So let's see the answers here. Okay, resuming it back, you can see here. So exposure to different events forces the brain to think differently. It stands, yes, same goes to the seventh. 
yes eighth is not given ninth is uh, no tenth is not given and 11 is no so the sixth one you can see the highlighted yellow area exposure to different event forces the brain to think differently novelty releases the perceptual process from the chains of past experience and forces the brains to make new judgments right forces the brain to think differently so this is yes successful iconoclast have an extraordinary willingness to be exposed to what is fresh and different iconoclasts are unusually receptive to new experiences so interchangeable sort of term the one thing you can say with the different synonyms so paraphrasing is done here so yes most people are too shy to try different things they have mentioned in the same paragraph last sentence observation of iconoclast show that they embrace novelty iconoclast observation of iconoclast show that they embrace novelty while most people avoid things that are different so it says that most people avoid the things which are different they are not saying that they are shy to try them they just simply avoid them so it is like this is not uh, avoidance is not mentioned here so it's like saying they are too shy to try and here it says like they avoid them so avoiding and being shy these are two different terms so not given if you think in an iconoclastic way you can easily overcome fear so ninth is here you can see it uh, here uh, i have mentioned the question number nine it is simply a common variant of human nature one which iconoclasts do not let inhibit their reactions right so this is ninth and this is no because this is saying the opposite matter when concern about embarrassment matters uh, less other fears become irrelevant so we this is very clear not given fear of public speaking is a psychological illness so here 11 but fear of public uh, speaking which everyone must do from time to time afflicts one third of the population this makes it too common to be considered a mental disorder so this is saying like it is a psychological illness it is saying it cannot be considered a mental disorder it is too common to be considered a mental uh, disorder so psychological mental so here we are saying it stands no 11 so adobe this is the we started off with the mcq because as you were asking me uh, you know yesterday so now today you are late for the class you can hear me adobe All right, so here are the questions. Next set. Mm -hmm. So complete each sentence with the cor correct ending. That's the question. And let me just, I mean, this is the instruction only. So this is the real question. All right. So you have to complete each sentence with correct ending A to E below. This is instruction and it ends here. So thinking like a successful iconoclast is demanding because it. So which completes it according to the passage. So you have to pick that alphabet written in front of that uh, statement and it will become your answer for these three questions. So look and find the answer for these three and meanwhile, I'll just set in another passage for you.
Zarish, uh, 12 and 13 is right. Anu, 12 is right. Twelve thirteen, right, Sean. Fourteen is right, Zarish. Prove that's right. Yes, I uh, like the way you write, madam. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Uh, Shetu, 12 and 14 is right. Anu, 14 is right. Now. Sheetal 13 is wrong. Yes, I know that's wrong for 13. Jot questionable, not right.
Yeah, that's right for 30 nano. Okay, let's see the answer here. Okay, we can see the screen now with highlighted areas more. Thinking like a successful iconoclast is demanding because it answer to this one is requires both perceptual and social intelligence skills. Here you read, need to read this perception is important until iconoclast are so rare. This area will tell you the sentence formation of for the question number 12. And uh, uh, Adobe, yeah, got your answer, but 14 is right only. The concept of the social brain is useful to iconoclast because it, so it's B focuses on how group decide on an action. Last decade, there has been an explosion of knowledge about the social brain and how the brain works when groups coordinate decision making. Right, our focus is on how group decide on an action. Iconoclasts are generally an asset because their way of thinking, it sees, works in many fields, both artistic and scientific. So it, they create new opportunities in every area from artistic expression to technology to business. They supply creativity and innovation not easily accomplished by committees. Iconoclasts face alien alienation and failure, but can also be major asset to any organization. So this is like C, many fields, artistic, scientific, both are their cup of tea. So they are generally an asset because of their way of thinking. Right, so this these are the 14 question and one of the students got all the 14 answer. So whatever your score, like the answer you send me first, according to that, you can count down your score here. Okay, let me paste the another set of the question and the uh, passage with it. Just a second. Okay, yeah. Crop growing skyscrapers. Question number one to seven, complete sentences below. Choose no more than two words from the passage. Answer right in the boxes. Here I'm deleting the, you know, the set of the, those examples. Just a sec. So I'll tell you where are the blanks. Just a second, it's after including first one. So you keep searching it and see it. Yeah, it's here. Right, after including, you get it. Then it is located in.
That's right, Zarish, the answer number one. Send them all and I'll be just checking them like together. First two answers are right, Zarish. Third is also right. And Anu, first answer and sixth answer is right.
uh, Anu fifth answer. Mm, that's right. And uh, yeah, seventh is confused. I got it. Zarish, yeah, fourth is fine. And Jodh. Your answers are correct except fifth and seventh. Yeah, Zarish, that's right for fifth. And looking at the answers from um, Zarish, yeah, sixth is right, and uh, Dobby, yes, except seven, answer are correct. And Jodh, fifth is wrong, and Dobby, yeah, that's the right version of writing it. And Anu, fourth is right, Roop. Sixth is wrong and seventh is wrong. Um, yeah. And Zarish, yeah, seventh is right. Participants, Geet, your answers, I haven't received them. Harsh, Aman. Subartha, Sheetal, I'm not getting your answers till now. Be quick with your answers, guys. Yes, Rube, that's the right way to write it.
second, third is fine. Geet. Yes, Roop, that's right. Get yeah, fourth is fine, and I know no, this is not right for a second. Yeah, get that right, fifth. Okay, let's talk about the answers here, Sai Time. So, resuming it back. Okay, Sheetal, fine, got your answer. Let's see. Oh, no, Geet, I'm sorry. I just uh, uh, resume it back. You must send it a second before. <laughs> so, sorry about that now. It says some food plants, including Dash, are already grown indoors, right? So here it is that since hot house production of tomato and other produce has been in work for some time. So hot house production, the like we keep reading from here and you get it. So other food plants they have mentioned and other produce and including exemplified with tomatoes. Vertical farms would be located in dash, meaning that there will be less need to take them long distances to customer. Situated in the heart of urban center, situated in heart of urban center, they would drastically reduce the amount of transportation required to bring food to consumers. Same thing in different words, paraphrased. So urban center word is missing. So that's what we put here. Vertical farms could use methane from plants and animals to produce what? So although the system would consume energy, it would return energy to the grid via methane generation from composting known edible parts of plants, right? So this is uh, the uh, you know area where you get the answer and the answer is energy. Then for the consumption of dash would be cut because agricultural vehicles would be unnecessary. So here it would be, it would also dramatically reduce cut, reduce fossil fuel use by cutting out the need of tractor, plows and shipping. These all are agricultural vehicles, right? So they, they would be unnecessary. So these consumption of fossil fuels can also be reduced with that. The fifth one, light is a uh, you know, very easy clue here, light. So it says artificial light. So just write artificial. Writing artificial light, your answer will be wrong. And sixth, one form of vertical farming involved planting in dash, which are not fixed. One variation, one form of vertical farming that has been developed that is uh, in that involves what developed is grow to plant in trays, stacked tray that move on rails, which are not fixed that are moving, moving trays, right? So stacked trays. The most probable development is the food will be grown on dash in towns and cities. 
So here it is that simply use the space available on urban rooftop. It's the most probable development in the food industry, in the growing food industry, right? So you writing skyscraper, that's wrong. It is very clear when you read it and the other go, you will definitely get it. It's urban rooftops. So let's do the another set of the question here, which is, I guess, true, false, or yes, no, sort of. Let me see. Okay, so this is the next set of question, 8 to 13. Mm, yes, no, not given. Oh, sorry, true, false. True, false, not given. Eight to thirteen. Here these are. So this is eight. Okay, it is moving it. Okay, it's enough to see. Yeah. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. All right. So this is eighth, ninth, tenth, eleven, and thirteen. So it's true, false, not given. So you have already read the entire passage. So now it is, of course, a bit easy uh, to understand the things here, right? So just now look into it and find these answers. Send kindly all the answers together, please, Geet and Zarish. So when you find all the 8 to 13, only then send to me.
All right, let's see the answers here. So Anu, eighth is right. And then, yeah. And then Zarish, eighth is right. Geet, eighth is uh, wrong. Ninth, wrong. Tenth, right. Eleven, twelve. 13 right. Zarish 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th right. Adobe 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 right. Very good. Uh, Roop 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. All correct. Jodh. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, all correct. And uh, Anu, 9th, 10th, uh, 11, 12, and 13, all correct. Geet, 8 and 9. Uh, 8 is right now, but the 9 is wrong. What do you have given answer for the 9th previously? Let me see that. Okay, yeah, it's wrong. And uh, Sheetal, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13 is right. So 12, why haven't you given an answer? Never leave any question unanswered because uh, if you're leaving the question unanswered, ultimately you're losing that mark. Maybe you write it and it becomes right, you get that mark, right? So majority of you got the answers. I think I do not need to explain the answers here. Right? Is that okay? Twelve, please. Yeah, twelve, sure, for sure. Twelve says, uh, fertilizer will be needed for certain crops in vertical farm farms, right? And uh, let me go to the paragraph. Just a sec. So, uh, all the food could be grown organically, eliminating the need for herbicides, pesticides, and forte. Liza and fertilizer will be needed for certain crops in vertical farms. Okay, so it says that that fertilizer will be needed, that it will be needed for certain crops, right, in vertical farms. So the vertical farm, that's the paragraph I highlighted area in blue. It says all the food could be grown organically, eliminating the need of fertilizer, pesticide, herbicide. But it says that the fertilizer will be needed for certain crops. But it says all the food, it can be grown without fertilizer. So it is, 12th is false. Any other please? Any other or is it's like all good? You can ask right now or shall we move to the next one? Okay, okay, you guys not able to unmute you. <laughs> All right, let me change the settings, sorry for that. Uh, okay, I'm here, I can do that. Yeah. yeah. I need to stop it and change that right at the moment. Okay. Okay, now you can unmute, see? If it's working? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. So let's start with the last one. So it's 13 and 14. 
So total questions are uh, four and three, seven, 27. So now we'll be doing around 13 more questions and we will be done with the complete academic reading with all the 40 questions. So just give me a sec here. Just let me share you the next screen. with me yeah just uh, so let's do these five one first and if we left with time then we'll be doing the remaining ones it says unmasking skin what? Okay, so the title of it, Unmasking Skin. That's the title. So the passage has 10 paragraphs, A to J, as you can see on the screen. So you have to see which paragraph contained the following information. So this is the question here for you, which paragraph contained the following information. The question number are here, one, two, uh, four, right? So I'll just zoom them out a bit for you. And I can yeah, remove these instructions as well so it will save us more space. Yeah. Right, so I'll just adjust this one. First question. Second one, I know you can easily differentiate the things here. So yeah, it will also improve the font size a bit. Yeah, cool. And fourth is cruel research method used in the past. So it's past. Okay, so now see, which paragraph contain the following information, the feature of human skin on and below the surface, an experiment in which the writer can see what is happening, advice on how you can avoid damage to skin and cruel research methods used in the past. So these are the question here. And let's do these four questions. So read the paragraph maybe, A, come to the option C and yeah, do the things here. Yeah.
Yanu, these three are right. So we got six minutes, guys. So use five and give. Uh, let me say one minute to talk to you. No, Sheetal, third is right only. Uh, Roop first, third and fourth is right. No, Anu first is wrong. Second is wrong gate, other are right. Yes, that's right, gate for second and Jodh. Second is wrong and fourth is wrong. Sheetal first is wrong. Okay, it's 3.58 guys. Mm. Roop, yeah, second is right now. Okay, Jai, just one minute to you. Oh, that's good. That's good, Rook. Very nice. That's lovely to hear that you guys are getting very nice food every day because reading and writing are the two things where we have to put more effort. Okay, you're welcome, and it's your hard work only, yeah? Paying you off, very good. Okay, so let me stop it here at 3.59. Resume it back, let's see. It says the features of human skin on and below the surface. The, the students who found all the answers, they can start counting their answer. Uh, the total question we did. 27 uh, before and four are the here, 31. So the first statement, it is from the B paragraph, talking about the layers of the skin, outmost layer, 
then dermis include collagen and this more the innermost layer so the on and below the surface of the skin features of it an experiment in which the writer can see what's what is happening that's in two when he was under an experiment he was given a glove to put on surgical glove to put on and put a finger in the glass of cold water but still his finger was not wet but visual proof that it is not touching water but still he is feeling that his his finger finger got wet so that is sort of an experiment in which writer actually got to know like what is happening it's our brain which give us the signal or the um, any 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 signal that yes the finger is wet it's not even physically it's not even the wet at all right so the third one advice on how you can avoid damage to the skin so third is in j3 i mean j is the paragraph number how you can uh, do that in the last test set he has written that that if you ever uh, happen to touch a hot burner just put your finger in cold water the chances are you will have no blister little pain no scar swear burns though are a different matter but yeah this is a advice he is giving to do, avoid damaging to the skin cruel research method used in the part come back to four paragraph uh, which is d laboratory experiment decades ago like past decade ago now considered unethical and inhuman right so cruel research method used in the part kept baby monkeys from being touched by their mothers it it made no difference that the babies could see hear and smell their mothers without touching the babies become apath apathetic and fail to progress so this is like an ethical and human experiment done in the used and done in the past that's what in the d paragraph so it's b h j and d right so these are the answers here so that's all for today class so i hope to see you tomorrow and tomorrow we'll be doing definitely some other module reading and listening is done for the week so see you tomorrow with the next item type next module so i'm ending this session guys bye bye take care have a lovely day ahead and uh, students who have joined late kindly try to come early because this is the ending of the class and that's a nice score sheetal that's great you're improving and today you gave many right answers which i like to yeah. thank you yeah okay bye guys take care yeah yeah bye bye